hi friends welcome back to laravel jwt authentication tutorial series so we already installed jwt packages and we have configured our models and we have configured our authentication and by default we are using the girls that is the api girls and here we'll create some api for login registrations and profile or dashboard you can say okay so if you don't see the previous video the playlist and link are provided in the description section so now in this video we will create the controller and we will create the registration process so just go into the terminal and let's create php artisan make controller suppose my controller name is auth controller okay so now enter this and if you just go here you can see a new controller is created inside the app controllers and this is the auth controller okay so this is our controller and let's create some functions that is register functions and we'll use the authentication so first of all let's use the authentication and let's create a constructor so we'll use the auth api middleware so first of all let's create routes for this so it will be more better so just go inside the routes so here is the route and here we'll use the api.php is the api routes and let's create a route okay so i want to create a route group so that we can save the middleware and we'll create a prefix for all the routes okay so in this group we will create all the routes that is the login register logout refresh whatever we need right so we will create a grouping and let's inside the group just create a middleware so right here middleware and here i am to use the api middleware so just write your api and i want to say to prefix so in this way you can say to prefix so right here prefix suppose my prefix is auth okay and let's create a closer function so right here function and inside the function we'll create all those things right and let's pass the router here so right here dollar router okay and suppose i need to create the register function so let's use the route and this is obviously the post and here just write the register okay so write your register and we'll use the auth controller so first of all we need to use inside the controllers so just use the app http controllers and name of the controllers that is auth controller right so just copy this so that there will be no chance to make spelling mistake and let's use this auth controller here auth controller colon colon class and i want to create a function inside the auth controller that is the register All right and let's create the login function also we need to create this in the next right so let's create this login also and here also create a login okay so let's create the register function first so just create public function register okay and here we need the request so right here request dollar request right and the another function we need to create that is the login so let's copy this spelling from here and let's paste this okay so first of all we will create the login and registration section and we will do this later okay and for authentication i want to set a by default a constructor so in the constructor i want to save the middleware that is the api model here so right here public function and construct okay and inside the constructor i want to set dollar this middleware so only for api middleware it will work so in this so in this revision i am using the middleware and here the middleware name that is auth api so right here auth 
column api right and here i want to pass one extra things that is except and inside the except i will use the login and registration so i will create another array and from that array we will use the login comma the register so use the register okay so all are set so just add a semicolon so what is the error so actually we closed extra brackets right so all are ready so let's create the registration method so here i want to use the validation first so that the without name email password they cannot access or they cannot submit right so first of all we need to use the validator here use validator v a l i d a t u or validator sorry spelling mistake and here we'll call this validator so right here dollar validator v l i d a t o r anything that is the variable and let's call the validator and let's make a request all so right here request and all we want to validate all the request and inside these we want to pass the variable names so we'll pass that is the name and name will be the required and the next things we need to pass the email so write your email and also the email is required and i need to pass the password also the password is required and i want to set another things that is the password will be the suppose string type and it will be same as the confirm password so simply write confirmed and i want to set the minimum password length that is six okay and also the email will be the string type and also this should be proper email validation and this should be the unique to the users table so you can write here in this way unique and users okay so in this way we can set the unique users so basically this is the table name so not double it will be single so basically this is the table name so as we are using this so this is the users so we are writing this users right so all are set now let's add the condition so if the validation failed we will send a uh, some response so write your if dollar validator false or you can say the fails then we will send a response so write your return response and we'll send the json response so just write here return response json and what we pass so we'll pass all the validators so just write here dollar validator and errors okay and it will be passed through the json format so right here json okay and we'll pass the status code that is 400 okay so all are set so all are set and if the validation not fails that means if the user enters the correct record then what happened then we need to just register the user so right here dollar user equal to we need to call the user model so we need to just use the app models that is the namespace and let's add this here app models and the name of the model is user okay app models slash user and should use this okay so this is my model name and let's use this user colon create okay so create is the method to create any users so just here write array merge and inside here 
we'll just pass the validator so right here validator error validated okay and we will send the password into the bkeeped formatted so just how to pass this so simply pass the extra parameter that is password and the password will be as bcrypt okay and let's pass the dollar request password and if the user created successfully we need to pass the success message so let's use the return and response and here we'll pass through the json format so right here json sorry spelling mistake json and inside here we will pass the few things that is first of all we have to pass the status code that is the correct one so write 201 that is the user and i want to set a message that is message and here we will say the message the user successfully registered and the next things so register r-e-g-i-s-t-e-r-e-t registered and the next things i need to pass the full user information so the full information inside the dollar user and let's add another that is user and we'll pass the full user information okay so all are ready now we need to test this whatever we are getting all are right or not so just open the postman so here this is the api testing tool and we'll use this to test our registration section first so let's create a collection so just create that is new collection and the collection name is suppose laravel jwt auth okay so all the apis from this laravel jwt auth we will save inside here right so laravel jwt auth and here let's create a request so first of all my project url that is the 127.0.1800 and if you just go inside this api.php we are going to call this register and this is the post and this is api.php and the prefix is auth so all those things we need to mention so just use the post and here we are using the api route and here the prefix is auth so just use the auth slash the registration okay so now if you just go inside the body and let's pass some form data so what will be the form data so name and then email and then password and the last thing we are using the confirmed so that we need to use the password confirmation okay so all are set now let's check whether our validation function is working or not so just click on the send and it's showing some error so validation make functions error okay so let's see what happened so validator make so we need to use the functions here and just click on send again and here you can see the name field is required email field is required so if we just go here the preview all the section we can see just pretty we can see the validation message so that means the validation is working and it's 400 bad request so actually we are passing this then i have to pass the name suppose the name is john joy and the email is john at the rate email.com and here I have to send the password that is one two three four five six four five six okay and I have to use the same in the confirm password so if you want to write one three four five six and let's click on send and you can see the user registered successfully that is the message and all the user information that is name email updated at created at and IDs so whatever we have inside the database so if we just go inside the users and click on this we can see a new user is registered okay so all the fields we are getting from here 
so registration process is done now if you want to log in how we can log in so we have already created the login function so let's discuss this login functionality in the next video so please comment if you have any queries about this video and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day